My name is Josh Roberts, and it's been a year since I was abducted. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was walking home from school. It was about 6 p.m., and there was a full moon and a chill in the air. I stepped off the bus, and for the first time, someone else got off with me. I'd never seen this new kid at school before. I could hear footsteps behind me. I took a quick glance and saw the kid walking at a brisk pace. I thought he was following me, so I took a left, which wasn't my usual route. I looked around again and saw him take the same left. My heart started pumping and my legs started shaking at the sound of the footsteps as they got louder and faster. I then panicked and started running. I remembered a shortcut in the nearby forest to my neighborhood, so I ran as fast as my legs could carry me. Hey kid, wait up, said a heavy voice from behind me. I tried my hardest not to stumble on the logs and boulders in my path. I could hear the sound of sticks and leaves being broken by some fast, heavy footsteps. My legs started throbbing as the adrenaline wore off, so I took a detour towards a playground. I stopped to catch my breath, looking around for somewhere to hide, then it went silent. I was doubtful that I lost him. I took my phone out to call the police when I spotted a local news article. Caution, there is a suspicious man on the loose. He escaped the local prison and assaulted an officer. Beware, he may look like a teen, but he is in his 20s. If you see him, call 911 immediately and lock your door. My mind started rushing with thoughts and I started to panic. All of a sudden, someone started choking me with their arm. I tried to fight back, but they were so strong stand a chance. My feelings of hope began to diminish as I slowly blacked out. I awoke to find myself in a dark, damp room that looked like a basement. The floor was hard and cold. There were no windows, but there was a staircase and a bathroom. I tried to move, but I was tied up with a thick rope. Yeah, I got him. How much was the deal? Two hundred? Listen, you gotta do a little better than that. Okay, fine. You'd better bring the right amount, or you'll be tied up like that kid. What? Are they selling me? The guy sounded mad and anxious with whomever he was talking to. Right after he hung up, he opened the door and walked down the stairs with an evil smile. Let go of me! I exclaimed as he taunted me. My arms started to fall asleep due to the tightness of the rope. He came closer to me and I spat in his face. He looked at me in sheer rage. Then the doorbell rang, followed by pounding on the door. The guy grabbed some tape and shut me up before I could scream for help. He slowly backed off, signaling me to keep quiet and ran towards the front door. I looked around, trying to see what I could use to untie these ropes. I spotted a rusty, sharp edge sticking out of the wall. This was my one hope. I successfully got up and tried with all my might to reach it. As I was trying to cut the rope from my hands, I could hear the commotion upstairs getting heated. I managed to free myself from the ropes when I heard the front door slam. The silence was terrifying. I was frozen in fear. Footsteps started coming towards the door. I choked and shuffled back to my original position, arms behind my back, wrists tightly locked together. Now where were we? Said the man. He walked towards me, grabbed my ankles, and started dragging me when the phone rang. He dropped me instantly and charged upstairs. I wasn't going to lose this opportunity. I untied my feet, grabbed the closest thing to me, and hid behind some boxes. Now where did you go? He said as he stampeded down the stairs. I heard him getting closer to where I was hiding. I bolted up from behind the boxes and saw him checking the bathroom. As he walked out, I struck him over the head with a pole. He stumbled and fell to the floor. Crimson red pooled around his head. I ran upstairs and out the front door. I stumbled my way to the closest house, screaming. A woman thankfully opened the door. She was shocked and fearful when she saw me. The police were called and I was rushed into the hospital. They're still looking for that man even to this day. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. 
If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description.